whoever is not well mannered in his relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will patch him up, will deal with him under the earth. Two traits that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala truly loves. Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to Ashaj Abd al Qais, Inna fika khaslatayni yuhibbuhum Allah, al hilm wal anat. Indeed, you, O oh, Ashaj, you have two traits that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala truly loves. Al-hilm wal ana. So what are these two beautiful traits that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves? First one is al-hilm. It is dhabtu nafs عند هيجان الغضب. It is to have control over yourself when you become infuriated. When you are angered, you're not quick to punish. That reminds me of a hadith when the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, مَنْ كَضَمَ غَيْضًا وَهُوَ قَادِرٌ عَلَىٰ أَنْ يُنْفِذَهُ دَعَاهُ اللَّهُ عَلَىٰ رُؤُوسِ الْخَلَائِقِ دَعَاهُ اللَّهُ عَزَّ وَجَلْ عَلَىٰ رُؤُوسِ الْخَلَائِقِ حَتَّى يُخَيِّرَهُ اللَّهُ مِنَ الْحُورِ مَا شَاءَ Whoever holds back his anger, even though he's able to let it all out, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will call him out in front of everyone on the day of judgment. And he will give him the opportunity to choose from whoever he wants from the women of Al Jannah. So holding yourself, controlling it, is Al Hilm. Sometimes we become very, very infuriated and we say things that we end up regretting later on. Second thing, my brothers and my sisters, is Al-Anah. Al-Anah, my brothers and my sisters, is to take things slowly, to think about the decisions that we make, not to rush and to jump on something that we have heard. This brings me to a point, and that is something that Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu ma mentioned. He said, وَلَا تَكُونُوا عُجُلًا مَذَايِعَ بُذُرًا Do not be individuals who are hasty, who rush to doing everything that they hear about. Do not be مَذَايِعَ What does مَذَايِعَ mean? The moment they hear about something, they begin to announce it. And this could be anything related to public safety and public fear. Abdullah Mas'ud is saying, do not be hasty, do not rush. Do not be madayir, people who announce these things. That sometimes it might require an old head, somebody with wisdom, someone who has a lot of experience to maybe deal with. And then he said, budura. Do not be individuals who when they're told a secret, they go and spread it to others. But rather think about your decisions. And we've all had our regrets of having made decisions very, very quickly that maybe thinking back on, we wish we didn't. And the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us, Al-ajalatu min shaytan wal anatu min Allah. Hastiness is from the shaytan. And an ana is from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. My brothers and my sisters, and we tend to see this all the time on social media. We tend to jump on any one-sided claim that is made. And the Sharia is so beautiful and it's so fair. Look what the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught Ali ibn Abi Talib. إِذَا تَقَاضَ إِلَيْكَ رَجُلَانِ فَلَا تَقْضِ لِلْأَوَّلِ حَتَّى تَسْمَعَ كَلَامَ الْآخَرِ if, if two people come to you and they seek your judgment, do not rush to taking any of their sides. And if you learn not to do so, فَسَوْفَ تَدْرِي كَيْفَ تَقْضِي You will know how to judge accordingly. So Ali ibn Abi Talib, he said, فَمَا زِلْتُ قَاضِيًا بعد. I remained judging in such a way. There's always two sides to a story. And sometimes emotion overtakes us. We hear something and it hits us really hard. But we forget 
that there's always two sides to a story. Even if that individual is somebody who you truly love, there's always two sides to a story. I remember my dad said to me many, many years ago, when I was young, he said, if somebody comes to you and his eye is poking out, and he's covered with blood, do not rush to taking his side. Because you don't know. It could have been him who had the last blow in having killed somebody before he turned out in such a way. He could have just murdered somebody even though he has blood covered on him. It's important to take things easy. The Messiah also told us, Al-bayyinatu ala al-mudda'i wal-yameenu ala man ankar. He said, لَوْ يُعْطَى النَّاسُ بِالدَّعْوَاهُمْ لَدَّعَى نَاسٌ دِمَاءَ رِجَالٍ وَأَمْوَالَهُمْ If everybody was to be given everything that they claimed, they would claim the wealth of others and the lives of others. So and so took my money. Like, what's the proof? This is why the Prophet ﷺ said, الْبَيِّنَةُ عَلَى الْمُدَّعِي The one who makes the claim, he has to bring forth proof. And last but not least, the hadith of Abdullah ibn Zubair, he said, Qadar Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, al-khasmayni yaq'udani bayni yaday al-hakim. Messiah ﷺ decreed that the defendant and the claimant, they both have to go and sit in front of the judge. So both sides are heard out fairly and justly because there's always two sides to a story. My brothers and my sisters, this is the end of our series. There's so many more etiquettes and bad traits that I wanted to mention. But because of time, and because of resources and things like that, we can't go through all of that. But what I can advise you with, if this really interested you, is to go onto the Knowledge College portal and sign up, where you can go through a whole poetry that I explained called Manduma to Ahsan al Akhlaq, the poetry of the best of etiquettes where maybe over 50 traits were mentioned that could insha'Allah ta'ala, my brothers and my sisters, really improve us as Muslims. And you can access this insha'Allah ta'ala in the link below. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala adorn us all with the best of etiquettes. Allahumma ati nufusana taqwaha wa zakkiha anta khayru man zakkaha anta waliyuha wa mawlaha Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to say, O oh Allah, grant our souls a taqwa. Purified indeed, you are the best of those who purify. You are his protector and you are his guardian. He also used to make the dua, Allahumma kama ahsanta khalqi fahassin khuluqi. O oh Allah, just as you perfected my outer appearance, then also perfect my etiquettes. If this is the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saying this, the one who Allah said in Surah Al-Qalam, وَإِنَّكَ لَعَلَى خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ You, O Muhammad, you have the best of characteristics, the best of manners. And where do me and you lie? Subhanaka Allahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.